Hey friends, welcome back to Mimi's Mixed Bag. If this is your first video of mine, thank you for stopping by. Today I'm bringing you a wishing well planter. And next Sunday, I'm having a, my mother-in-law over for a cookout along with my children and the rest of my family. And I wanted to do something cute for the table. Now I've seen this done before years ago and I've never made one. And I think it's pretty simple uh, to make. So you, you're, you're gonna need these six supplies here minus the dirt and the plant. The pot I had originally planned was a little four and a half inch clay pot. I dropped it about an hour ago and had to improvise, but that's what I originally planned. But this little plastic pot will work fine. The sides of the wishing well are made with some five gallon paintster sticks from Walmart, $1.88. You could use any kind of yard stick trim you have or dowel rods or whatever. It's gonna be framed up with 31 tongue depressors these are about six inches. You can get them for a pack of 100 at Walmart or any dollar store. I'm going to spray paint my whole project white when I get done. I went out in my yard and gathered a big handful of oak sticks, just ones that had fell on the ground. They're really straight. The bottom and the top of the wishing well will be made with these, and I will attach everything with hot glue. All right, I went and gathered more little sticks, and I tell you, it, it really makes a huge difference if you have some of these hand nippers. I just walked around with a seven inch piece. And then as I picked up limbs, I nipped them and I gathered them all at the same time. And so before you know it, you've got a big pile and this should be enough. And of course, the bigger the limbs, the less you'll need. So I tried to get as thick as I could where I could actually cut manually. And now it's time to frame up the box of the wishing well. And you see, this is simple enough where it's pretty much self-explanatory. I have two, tongue depressors and then three hot glued, almost like a fence section. So I'm gonna do four of these squares and I'll be back. All right, I have my box sides framed up and now I'm going to hot glue the limbs on each side, just like that. I'm gonna to try to get them as close as knit as possible. And just remember, this is the bottom of your wishing well, so don't make sure you have no edges hanging over that like that because you want your wishing well to sit up straight. So they're gonna be about an inch longer because we cut them seven inches long. I just want to give you a little tip. Instead of putting hot glue on your stick and then trying to stick it down, I'm finding it's easier just to put a spot of hot glue on the top, middle, and bottom, and then put your stick where it needs to go. That way you know the glue is where it needs to be for the stick to stick to the frame. All right, here are the four sides of my box done. I'm gonna flip it over and that's gonna be the inside of the wishing well. If you use plenty of hot glue, well, the little sticks will stay on there really good. Now I'm going to hot glue all four sides together and that'll be the bottom of the wishing well. All right, I wanna give you just another little tip when you are attaching these corners. I put hot glue on the outside and the inside and just hold it together until the glue sets up a little bit. And then once you get all four sides attached, it will be a lot more sturdier. Okay, all four sides are attached now, but let me just show you where the sides are connecting. You might need to find a little stick just to camouflage where the tongue depressors met. All right, so. the next step, I hot glued my paint stir sticks inside the box all the way to the bottom. And like I said before, I put the hot glue on the three braces and then put my stick in there. That way I know that the wood is catching where it needs to. All right, and just so you know, in case you don't use these paint stir sticks, my piece of wood is 21 inches long. All right, the next thing I did is I took three sticks and glued them into a triangle. I, that is going to be my little roof trusses. I'm gonna hot glue it at the top, inside the sticks, just like that. I'm gonna turn it around here just so you can see that sometimes it's easier just to see what I did than me to try to explain it. Super simple, a couple braces on each side. And now I'm gonna do just like I did the bottom of the box, just start hot gluing sticks along the roof. And just want you to know that I'm only putting glue on the middle and bottom brace and not doing anything here at the top. All right, I'm gonna do a little turn here and show you the roof on both sides. And would you believe I have one stick left out of that big old stack? So now, now all I have to do is just spray paint it white and put my potted plant inside. So I'm going to finish it out and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, friends, I have a little mock table set up here just to give you an idea of what I'm gonna have for Mother's Day. I'm gonna move in a little closer and show you that I almost didn't have enough spray paint. I had just enough to get it wide enough so I could show you what it would look like. 
but you could certainly spray paint it any color and over here on the sides I just added some extra sticks to tie in with the roof I think that looks a lot better and I just stuck some little Amazon faux flowers but of course you could do a live plant in there and you could keep this inside or outside you could add some little Dollar Tree butterflies to the top you could there's just lots of ways you could embellish it or keep it simple like I did so I hope you enjoy this little wishing well planter project and you're able to make one with some sticks in your yard and less than five dollars thanks so much for watching and I'll be back in a few days bye bye